Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So a video today about the accuracy of the M61 in DCS. You guys have asked the question, is it accurate? This has come about because we recently did a video on the GAU-8. Nick Gray said that they changed the dispersion spread of the bullets to meet real life because a lot of guys are complaining that the real life dispersion should be smaller. And of course, what happens is as soon as they change something in DCS, people say, well, what about this? Well, what about that? And now people are saying, well, what about the accuracy of the M61? So we're going to go through it as best we can to our understanding. As ever, feel free to correct us. And, you know, what we're trying to do is really just bring light to it so you guys can investigate further. So this came from here, our video on the GAU-8 accuracy on the A-10 and this comment here the M61 on all jet aircraft is also shooting as a much wider circle than it should some made a test and instead of 8 milliradians I think it's trying to say that it was 22 milliradians at 1000 feet and we've got um, a good uh, if you want a screenshot there and uh, Rainbow Dash has had a good description of where these values come from the next thing we do is we go and look at the actual data that drives these weapons in DCS if you want that it's going to be your e-drive or whatever DCS world scripts database weapons click on shell.table this is a lure file that decides where the bullets what they do how fast they come out where they spin off to their accuracy their weight and so on come in here you come to your first gun it's a 2a42 i've no idea what that is it might be the thing in the flanker i'm not sure you can see the velocity it comes out of the barrel is 980 meters per second relative to the barrel I don't know what that is. That is the accuracy slash dispersion from the aim point of the gun in radians. So that would be 0.5 milliradians. Radian is an angle, of course, a bit like degrees. It's just a more maths friendly way of expressing it rather than degrees. Bunch of other stuff I don't know. The mass of the round, mass of the round again, and so on. Uh, caliber and so on. So if we go, and it's interesting, you can see some, if I just try and find one that I know, M17, L1... L21, that's, uh, no, I don't know what that is. Uh, there, I know that one, the GSH-23, uh, used in a lot of Russian stuff. That's the muzzle velocity there, quite slow, actually, from what I thought. Uh, it's quite accurate grouping of 0.7 milliradians, uh, quite a heavy shell, and so on. What we're going to do first is look at the gan weight. So we go to the gan weight, and we can see 950 meters per second muzzle velocity. With a This is the thing that they've just changed. They've just come in here and changed this number. By the way, you can change numbers in here. I do not recommend it. It's a good way of breaking your game and then complaining, oh, my DCS doesn't work, just don't do it. This is the new dispersion of the GAU-8. It used to be 0 0.002. Two, three, or something, and they pretty much halved it to zero, 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 one, eleven radians or one point one milliradians. Uh, we believe. Now we're not sure if this is the actual milliradian or if it's just a ratio number. Um, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but what we can see is that it's one point one one. Now if we go to the Mike 61, uh, we've got the correct muzzle velocity and so on. And here we've got the dispersion or accuracy, whatever you want to call it, from the aim point of zero point zero zero. To two uh, to convert that into milliradians, which is just what most people work with, it's going to be 2.2 milliradians, exactly twice as much as the GAU 8 in game. So, one thing you can say is if you went and did a test, and we could go and do a test in DCS to test that it is exactly twice the spread of the GAU 8 now, we don't really need to because we now know how to get to the raw data that actually feeds the game. So, what we know is that the Mike 61 is exactly twice the dispersal inaccuracy, whatever you want to call it, but we don't think this is an absolute milliradian figure. So let's just get some official figures from that. Uh, where do we go? So we've got the GAU-8. This is official as we can get in FAS, whatever it's called. I'm sure you've been here about 20 million times. We've got the GAU-8, 80%. So it's slightly different the way they work it in real life. They use an 80% fall of shot. And they've got 5 milliradians spread in accuracy, whatever you want to call it, for the GAU-8. And for the M61 from the manufacturer, we've got 8 milliradians at 80% full. In that case, uh, if we just do a simple ratio here, 8 divided by 5, the ratio between the real-life GAU-8 and the real-life M61 is 1.6, whereas in DCS, the real-life ratio between the GAU-8 and the M61 is 2.2 divided by 1.1 which is two. So there is a difference from what we get the real life data. That's as close as we to figuring out this out. Now you guys out there are a lot smarter than us. Please continue that conversation on. Maybe you can even find some better figures. That's all I've got to say on it. I hope that stirs up some conversation. I'll see you later.